what is your biggest takeaway? Look at the AFC playoff picture right now. I mean, it, it, it's kind of, in one way, it's like clearing some things up, but then you look at the AFC North, it's, it's muddy there. I mean, any one of those teams in the NFC, AFC North could win that division. But you look at the Buffalo Bills right now. If they drop the game to the Tampa Bay Bucks, they're no two games behind the New England Patriots. They're in trouble. And, and for some of us here at CBS Sports HQ, people picked them to win the Super Bowl. Now they might not even go to the playoffs, depending on how things finish out for them. And then KC. KC is back as far as the best team, at least in my opinion, in the AFC. I know New England stands up there right now uh, with the best record, but at the end of the day, I still trust the Chiefs. Uh, excuse me, I guess the Chiefs and, and uh, Patriots are tied right now. But I still trust the Chiefs as the best in the AFC at this point in time. But it's going to be fascinating to see how the rest of the season finishes out. Uh, a lot of competition, a lot of jockeying for those wild card spots, and then even in some cases, the division winner. Hey, for us watching at home. I weeks. have the same thing with. Sorry, go ahead, Danny. I, man, I was going to talk to Tom Brady because I looked at the Bills yesterday and another loss, losing four out of their last six. And this is a team that was, I mean, there there weren't a, there were a lot of people picking this team to, to win the AFC and to make a Super Bowl bid. You know, Josh Allen coming off that spectacular year. And then here we are. I do wonder if in a loss, maybe the offense kind of found their mojo coming back from all the way back in that comeback bid, which came up short in overtime. They have to. Their schedule is manageable with New England, the only other team that looks in there on the road. But again, it's an AFC team, which kind of makes it that much challenging. And it's a division rival where you're like, okay, they almost feel like they're going to have to win out or become really close to it against you know some winnable games. They have to. And yet the fact that we're even sitting here questioning the Bills, where they make the playoffs, pretty remarkable considering how hot they were coming into the season. Think about this. And this is the biggest issue that I see with the Buffalo Bills right now. All right. They can't run the football. Josh Allen was their leading rusher versus the Tampa Bay Bucks, and it almost seemed like he realized he had to be willing to do so in order for them to have any production on the ground. Their defense can't stop the run. We saw them basically get pounded by the New England Patriots when they didn't want to throw the football, and by the Colts a few weeks ago, and then in this most recent match versus the Bucks, they're giving up over six yards per carry to Leonard Fournette. That's a problem. When you play in Buffalo and you can't run the football and you can't stop the run, that's going to be an issue for you moving forward, especially as the weather turns, you know, come playoff time. So that's my biggest concern for them moving forward. They've got to figure a way of making those fixes in quick or short order. Otherwise, look, they're probably going to be a playoff team, but they're going to be packing headed home very quickly if they can't make some of these fixes. And not just that, we have to make sure that Josh Allen's foot is okay. Left of game uh, in a walking boot, or we're seeing in a walking boot, I should say, after the game. We're still waiting for an update on that. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.